I just have to tell you guys, we have not sung in church like this for two years. And this is my favorite night of the whole year. And it has grieved me that we haven't been able to do this for two years. And then we started practicing in chapel. And then we had not one, but two hurricane closures. And Rhonda laid awake at night saying, how are we going to learn all these songs? These children haven't sung in two years. We're never going to make it. This could be the best group of singers we've ever had. I am just telling you. <laughs> they're going to blow you away. If they don't get stage fright, they're going to be great. <laughs> we can't predict that. But aside from that, they know the music. They are happy to sing. As long as we don't get stage fright, we are good to go. And I just want to tell you how much I have enjoyed singing with these kids these last month or so since the hurricanes finished. And the last week, I didn't even lay awake worrying about them. I knew they had it. So I'm glad y'all are here. This is going to make your Christmas. So let me add to, to Rhonda's welcome. We're so glad all of you are here. It is great to see you. And Merry Christmas to you and your families. And I will echo um, my wife's sentiments that this is just one of our favorite, favorite, favorite parts of Christmas is being in here and celebrating it with all of you and hearing the most beautiful story ever told through the beautiful voices and faces and even shenanigans of these precious children. So we're excited, and I hope that you are as well. Um, as always, let me very, very sincerely thank you for the gift that you have given all of us, and that is of caring for your children and teaching them. It is a privilege and a joy. I won't kid you, we are just whipped and exhausted many Friday nights when the week is done, but... There's nothing like them, and we are so grateful to you for allowing us that, that gift of being able to, to be with them throughout the week. We have an incredible staff, you know that, and we are so thankful to God for them as well. They love your children, and this is just a good thing. So I want to invite you to just put out of your mind the long list of things that I know you have to do and things that we all have uh, on our to-do list. Sit back, relax. They're going to sing some songs for you, and as they are done with each song, please let them know how much you enjoyed it, and we will welcome your applause um, as you do, and if there are some younger siblings that somehow are participating, that's great, because we love it. So bring it on, and we thank you, and Let's go and ask for God to join us here as we celebrate the birth of his son this evening. Won't you join me in a word of prayer? Gracious Heavenly Father, we are so thankful to you for this place, for this ability to come together, for this family that is the preschool here. Lord, it is so exciting to see so many families gathered together to celebrate Jesus Christ and Christmas. Father, we just pray that these kids will just sing for all they're worth and that the stage fright and the butterflies will go away and they will just look precious as they always do. And God, that we can just sit back and relax and enjoy and just be so grateful to you for the greatest gift ever, the gift of your son, Jesus Christ. And we pray this in his name. Amen. Heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Drink to the O, to the Y. I got the drink to the O, to the Y. Drink to the O, to the Y. I got the drink to the O, to the Y. I got the drink. I got the joy, 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 I got the jo
boys and girls, y'all sound amazing, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Just incredible. Are you having fun? I hope you have good, because you know what? I can tell you this, all those folks out there, they're having a blast. They're loving every minute because this is such an exciting story and to hear it from you. It is so cool. The best story ever about the baby Jesus being born. You know, one night, God came to Mary and he told Mary, he says, Mary, you're going to have a baby. Isn't that exciting? And she was like, oh, I don't know. She wasn't sure. And he went to Joseph and he said, Joseph, guess what? You and Mary, y'all are going to have a baby and he's going to be a boy and his name is going to be Jesus. And he is God's son. And he said, you need to go to Bethlehem. And so off they go. They're traveling. But you know what? They didn't have airplanes and they didn't have cars they just had to walk and ride on the animals, and they got to Bethlehem, and Mary wasn't feeling very well because it was almost time for the baby to come, and there were no hotels there. They didn't know what they were going to do. And this really, really nice man, the innkeeper, he said, you know what? I don't have any more rooms, but I do have a barn out back, and there's lots of soft hay, and you can sleep there, and you'll get a good night's sleep. And that's exactly what they did.
it really was a special night, wasn't it? Because baby Jesus was born. It was his birthday. And the animals were so excited, weren't they? Yes, they were thrilled and excited, just like all of us are to celebrate his birthday. But you know what? Jesus wasn't born in a hospital like maybe most of you guys were. He was born right there in the barn where all the animals were. And just like you were singing about, they were so excited. And Mary took and wrapped him up in a nice blanket and he laid him down there in the manger so that he could go to sleep. You know, that same night when baby Jesus was born, there were some shepherds and they were with their sheep and it was dark. The only light was the stars in the sky. And then you're not going to believe what happened. It was so exciting. A whole bunch of angels like the beautiful angels we have right here. They came out in the sky and they said, go to the stable. Go to Bethlehem and see baby Jesus. He's been born.
parents came to see the baby stood by his mother's side. Here lay the Savior inside a manger. Oh, what a glorious night! Oh, what a glorious night! I hear the angels sing. It's so exciting, boys and girls, that the baby Jesus had the shepherds to come visit him, but he had some other visitors too. You see them right there. Three kings. They were really special guys. They were called wise men, and they came to see the baby, and they brought him presents. They brought him gold and frankincense and myrrh. And you know what? At Christmas time, we like to give each other presents, don't we? And that's kind of how it all got started. We love Jesus so much, we want to let everyone else know how much we love him and them when we bring him their gifts. The wise men came and brought him presents.
And that's the Christmas story, boys and girls. Isn't it wonderful and exciting to think that that beautiful star in the sky, the big bright star that you were just singing about, it helped people find their way to baby Jesus. And so when you see the stars in the sky and you see a really, really bright one, you can always know and be reminded it's all about Jesus. And when you have your Christmas celebration at your homes this year, remember whose birthday it was because it's the greatest story ever. You know, it's so amazing that heaven came down. God sent his son, Jesus, just for us. Wow, isn't that exciting? Isn't this wonderful? Y'all having a good time? Yeah, it's awesome. Yes. Now, the boys and girls have one more song for you folks. But before they do... Okay, thank you, ma'am. Yes, there is a recording, so... Tune in to later tonight. It will be available on the website. So just keep your eyes and ears open. And I'm sure you'll hear more communication from the people you normally do. But be on the lookout because I know you're going to want to see it all over again. Parents, we want to thank you again. We want to wish you and your family just the best, the best, the best of Christmases. After this is concluded, there will be lots of opportunities for pictures, which we know you want. A little something for you, behind you in the foyer there as you leave. Also, we want to let you know that on Christmas Eve in this very room at 5 o'clock, we'll have another time of worship together. We invite all of you and your extended family to join us. I promise it'll be brief, and I promise it'll be kid-friendly, but it will give you 
a plenty of reason to just celebrate the birth of Jesus and get home in time to do the things you got to do. So um, if we can do anything for you and your family at the preschool or at the children, it would be our honor to do so. Please call on us. Let's hear them one more time and Merry, Merry Christmas to you all. Christmas tree, let the Christmas spirit ring. Later we'll. 